It's the new face of Perth. My first thought with the foreshore redevelopment is fantastic. Melbourne-based demographer Bernard Salt supports the $440 million project but says it's come a decade late. Modern lifestyles have changed. People work 10 hours a day in their offices in the city and then they want to go on to somewhere else to have a cafe, bar, restaurant type uh, arrangement. That has been in place in Melbourne, Sydney and Brisbane for 10 or 15 years. City workers seem pleased with the proposal. Yeah, I think uh, we're eventually getting there. It has to be done to make progress, I guess. But not everyone sold. Our phone poll asked, do you support the waterfront proposal? The overwhelming answer was no, with only 36% saying yes. Property developers, though, are excited. It'll be a focal point for people to visit. It'll be a destination. Uh, it'll also provide some uh, badly needed uh, office accommodation. There's no doubt the foreshore needs a makeover, but questions must be asked as to the pressure that will be put on the city during the construction phase. Riverside Drive will be permanently closed for the development. The 30,000 vehicles that currently use Riverside Drive every day will be forced onto the Graham Farmer Freeway and congested city streets. There are already large-scale developments underway in the CBD, like the new entertainment centre, city square and major roadworks. There's talk of Perth's new stadium, now this. I think that everyone understands that you don't actually get anywhere unless you build. Alexis Donkin, Nine News.